Good evening, and thank you for attending the Share the Care Ball, a journey. My name is Tom Shanley, and I'm the President and Chief Executive Officer at Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago, and a member of the Board of Directors for Almost Home Kids. It is my distinct privilege and honor to recognize Dr. Larry Kosiolik as this year's Share the Care Exemplar Award recipient. It has been almost two years since experts in the field of infectious diseases found themselves front and center of staff meetings, community panels, and the media in all its forms. As they discerned real-time data from across the globe, they were responsible for answering a barrage of questions and providing the best possible advice on the COVID-19 pandemic. For us at Lurie Children's and Almost Home Kids, this critical leadership spotlight was on Dr. Kosiolik and his Infection Prevention and Control Task Force, who proved to be more than up to the challenge. Dr. Kosiolik is a pediatric infectious diseases physician scientist and the medical director of Infection Prevention and Control at Lurie Children's. He holds the Irene Heinz Given and John Laporte Given Professorship in Pediatrics and is an Assistant Professor of Pediatrics at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. His research interests focus on the epidemiology, diagnosis, and prevention of infections acquired in healthcare settings and high consequent pathogens in the community, most notably COVID-19 and C. difficile infections. He has led Lurie Children's COVID-19 response and worked with hospital, community, government, and public health care stakeholders to expand COVID-19 related services for children and families, including educational resources, testing, vaccines, and guidance for safely returning children to the classroom. Almost Home Kids has benefited greatly from Dr. Kosiolik's expertise. His lead role in Lurie Children's Infection Prevention and Control Task Force was a vital resource and the reason there have been zero cases of COVID-19 attributed to the children in our care and no cases of staff or caregivers contracting the virus at Almost Home Kids. In a time when retirement homes and long-term facilities saw disastrous and tragic numbers of COVID-19 within their walls, steady guidance and the actionable advice we received from Dr. Kosiolik and his team ensured Almost Home Kids did not succumb to the same fate. This was also the case when we restarted our volunteer program. We were able to implement a plan devised by Dr. Kosiolik's team that not only saw volunteers get fully vaccinated against COVID-19, but also established a clear set of protocols and procedures that have become our blueprint for the volunteer program. The resulting success of these measures has caught the attention of the Illinois Department of Public Health, who have been in contact with Almost Home Kids to help shape a set of standards that other facilities will implement and replicate. Dr. Kosiolik, congratulations again, and thank you for your leadership and excellence throughout this journey. Thank you, Dr. Shanley, for the very kind introduction and my sincerest gratitude to the Almost Home Kids team for recognizing me with this award. For the past year and a half, I have had the great honor of being one of the leaders of the Lurie Children's COVID-19 response. While words cannot quite express the enormous challenges we have faced, the most gratifying part of this work is how extensively I've been able to work with many other leaders across the Lurie Children's enterprise. To quote 19th century novelist James Lane Allen, adversity does not build character, it reveals it. I have experienced firsthand the incredible work an organization can do during a crisis when teams come together to achieve a common goal. In this case, to keep patients, families, and healthcare workers safe and healthy while staying true to the organization's mission of advancing the health and well being of children. My work with the team at Almost Home Kids has been a particularly bright spot over the past year and a half. Almost Home Kids is a very special place. There are very few facilities in the U.S. that can provide a home-like environment that not only provides much needed post-acute and respite care 
to a particularly vulnerable group of medically complex children and their families, but they have developed a physical space that promotes congregation and interaction, a space that is inviting for families, and a space that offers an alternative to the hospital environment that can sometimes feel isolating for families. When the pandemic began, honestly, I had significant concerns about this type of healthcare environment. As Dr. Shanley mentioned, early in the pandemic, post-acute and long-term care facilities were common sites for super spreader events. COVID-19 would spread through these facilities like wildfire, and because individuals with medical complexity were more likely to suffer from COVID-19 complications, many patients in these settings simply did not survive their infections, particularly early on in the pandemic when effective COVID-19 treatments were not yet available and vaccines had not yet even begun clinical development. Imagine the fear and frustration that comes with the realization that the very characteristics of almost home kids that make it an incredibly special place also add substantial risk of COVID-19 for patients and their families. Perhaps not surprisingly, the administrative physician and nursing leaders at Almost Home Kids were undeterred. Together, we relied on the science available and our experience with other respiratory viruses to identify the most significant risks and methods by which to mitigate those risks to substantially reduce the introduction and spread of COVID-19 into the facility while maintaining much of that home environment that allowed its children to rest, recover, and thrive. Together, we reinforced a culture of safety and accountability for staff and visitors to ensure that we kept those with COVID-19 symptoms or exposure out of the facility until they had recovered. We used screening testing to permit children to come and go between their home and other medical facilities safely. We used personal protective equipment that allowed our children here, the staff here, and the children's families to safely interact. And we fostered that strong patient family and facility relationship that makes Almost Home Kids special. And most importantly, as we learn more through the evolving science and ongoing experience, we too evolved our policies and practices. Through the work our team has done together, we have kept Almost Home Kids safe and we have not compromised on its mission and vision. And now, after a year and a half of tireless efforts of scientists around the globe, we are mere days away from vaccinating young children against this deadly virus. The future is bright. We are stronger together, and I'm forever grateful for the work we have done and the relationships we have built. I am thankful for your trust in me to help keep almost home kids safe, and I am enormously humbled by this award. Thank you.